Hello everyone, I'm Pam. Welcome back to my channel. In this channel, I'll share things about data analytics, job tips, and how to work more efficiently. If you haven't watched my videos on how I became a data analyst with no experiences, and my introduction as well, make sure you watch them also. Today, I'm going to share the four pillars of writing a job landing resume and review my resume that got me a job of a Fortune Top 50 listed tech company. Feel free to skip to that part you want to listen. Let's get started. Okay, before you start writing your resume, remember this. You're not describing what you've done, you're presenting the value you can put onto the table. If you are a recent graduate, I know there are not a lot of relevant experiences you can mention in your resume, and that's fine. Write what you expect to deliver to the company and echo it with your personality. My summary stated me being a data analyst passionate about finding problems and patterns. I believe my inborn curiosity to business problem and my ability to communicate complex solutions in layman terms will be able to enhance the speed of a company's digital transformation journey. This summary is my biggest statement, so this statement should be different for each company. Some candidates mentioned this. I'm interested in learning more about the data industry or this company. This, in my opinion, is a straight fail to the recruiters. Companies expect the candidates to give rather than taking their place. So, this sentence implies two points. You have no experience at all. You want to take rather than give in the company. Depend on the job description. Your technical or professional skill section will have to include a range of software or programming language skills. My resume caters to web and app analytics companies, so I broke down hard skills into data visualization, database management, web and app analytics software, programming languages, design software, website building software, and so on. Adobe Suite and Google App Manager seem to be useless, but making dashboard do need some art sense, and websites having huge traffic and visitors do need app management software. That will be my exceptional value to their company. As my job function is more like a generalist than a specialist, so I need to know a bit of everything but no need to master them. That said, some jobs might require high command of technical skills. Let's take an example. We'll just skip to the preferred skills, because in Google, it won't just require minimum qualifications. It requires soft skills, including communicating and presenting key findings to an executive audience. For hard skills, it requires a language for statistical computing, say R, Python, and ability to create statistical models. In this case, you'll have to provide something more than a manipulation of the programming languages. Some machine learning packages like scikit-learn, TensorFlow will be something you can name off, and statistical models such as regression, random forest, and knife face, so on. Be mindful of how you use the terms throughout describing your project experiences. Make it specific. Include programming packages you used. Another thing, use industrial terms. In my resume, I mentioned I designed a streamlined data extraction automation with more than 1 million data from various APIs in order to provide more stable, scalable, and organized data analysis to senior management cleansing and ETL tasks with SQL, Python, and R. Also, extract and visualize audience data with more than 1 million daily users from the DMP. Data extraction and automation, API, ETL, data cleansing, DMP are used. These are more industrial terms and will mostly be used only when you've used them before. The terms can attract the interviewers to be interested in what you've done in your previous job. Be sure that some descriptions in your resume are tied to a goal. Remember that you are applying for an analyst role and these roles are always tied to KPIs or OKRs. What I mentioned in my resume include overseas programmatic revenue and more than 10 billions of infantry per month, successfully exceeded revenue target by 30% in December 2020, data extraction and automation with more than 1 million of data scale, Hit the stretch goal of enhancing company's targeted marketing CTR performance by 70%. Even if you have no experiences in the industry, those data projects should always have an objective, so you can link it to what you've done. Companies are result-driven. They'd also like to see you to do so. It's very tactical in writing a data analyst resume. 
What I found funny is that I did a lot in my previous jobs without knowing I'm capable to perform those tasks. So it kind of reminds me of my journey from holding a bachelor degree of communication, having no relevant experience, to having my competitive edge right now. If you liked what I've covered in this video, definitely hit the like and subscribe button. Click here to watch my video about how I became a data analyst with no experiences. I'll see you in the next one.